I'll let Barbara give a testimony. Let's give her a warm welcome. Good to see you, Barbara. Man. it down because by the time I get to the third what I'm going to say I forget so yeah um, I just want to thank the Lord and give him all the praise and glory I thank you God for all that you have done in my life and all you are about to do thank you for being there for us when we need you Lord I asked you to help me feel well again and you provided you provided it thank you in the name of Jesus when I was feeling down you taught me that I never need worry Apart from reading all the scriptures and all, everything that's put on the church app, um, there was one that Victoria put it on. I survived yesterday. I am alive and dealing with today. And with God's help, I can face tomorrow. And whatever comes my way, thank you, God. I, pr I give you all the glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Before you go. Sorry? We're going to pray for you before you sit down. Denise, help us. Anthony, do you want to come? Because I know you've been battling sickness as well. Anyone else wants prayer for healing? Come forward. And, uh, you know, what What I like about these two is they're stubborn. They're stu with the devil. They won't give in. And, uh, you know, and that's, that's what faith is. Sometimes we've been taught, you know, the prayer of faith will save the sick. And it does. But we want it instantly, don't we? Sometimes, you know, God just allows us to go. We're going to learn this morning through the sermon these things. It allows us to go through these things to teach us faith and dependency on Him. And uh, I thank God that uh, Barbara and Anthony have and are still standing in faith against these things. Amen. So we're going to join and believe God together in prayer according to the Word of God. The Word of God says, by His stripes we are healed. And it's up to you and I to take that as a positive. You know, not say, oh, I've still got symptoms and I'm not healed. You are healed. We've just got to get the manifestation in the flesh. So let's pray together. First, we're going to pray for Barbara and uh, I'm going to ask Denise to help us pray here. Father, I just thank you for Barbara. Thank you for yes. those uh, confessions. Thank you, Lord, I'm hoping you and your promises and your faithfulness. And Father Amen. God, what you have begun, he will complete. Yes. And so, Father God, we just thank you, Father, that that complete healing, Lord, that will uh, be just as far, she'll be restored back to full health. Yes. Lord, just strengthen her and keep her, Lord, in your word and in your presence, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that, Lord, she will stand up again and she will glorify yes, you, Lord, thank you, Jesus. that by your strength she is healed, Amen. she was and is healed in Jesus' name. Father God, I pray for the brother Anthony right now. I pray, oh God, as he stands firm, Lord, in faith in you, oh God, claiming healing for his body, for his chest, uh, whatever uh, the virus and sickness comes upon him, we bind it right now in the name of Jesus. From the top of his head to the soles of his feet, bring healing, oh God, in, and strong healing in the name of Jesus. That Anthony will be standing up, testifying of the goodness of God. We pray for his family right now, Lord, that they'll stay in good health, Lord. And we just bless you in Jesus' name. Put your angels charge around him in Jesus' name. Let's give Jesus a big hand. Thank you. Thank you. You know, it's great to give a good report, isn't it? I know I was just uh, sharing with Anne and Clark this morning. Um, as you all know, last month I had some um, laser. La eye laser treatment. And to be honest, it left me blurred. You all know I struggled up here. I mean, I, I'm, on, I'm on font 20 now just to be able to read it. And, um, and so anyway, I was a bit dubious of going last Thursday. And uh, I was even more dubious when I got there because it was a trainee. I mean, qualified, but new to the job. And I could see that because as soon as I asked questions, she started, you know, getting nervous and went and brought the consultant in and, and uh, asked for directions with this machine. And we're thinking, oh, no. 
they're going to be zapping me eye, my eyeball in a minute. And she said, you know, anyway, so, but as Denise has said, I'm their best patient. I'm not really. I've just got faith in God. Amen. And I say, I, I, seem, I, seem to, I seem to get stronger in my faith when there's no other way. You know, when it's out of my hands, I just, I mean, trusting God. Anyway, so um, she brought the she brought the consultant in, and, and, the, and I'm thinking, this is not giving me much confidence, you know. And uh, anyway, so eventually, when the consultant went out, she was a lot calmer, and she and the, she said, uh, we're going to do instead of three appointments, you've already had one. We're going to do two in one today. But it meant I was in this. He had in this machine for a lot longer, and uh, but I just knew God was doing something, you know. And when I, when she'd finished, I, you know, I didn't say anything then because your eyes are red and whatever. But I just knew there was a different than last time, you know. And uh, so I began to thank God. And when I got home, I put the the drops in just only once, even though they give me six. I don't really need them. And then on Friday, I, I had to go to a, a different hospital for the um, the test results and also an injection in, in my eye. And, and so, and everything went smooth. Um, I'm not as bad as I was. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I can't, you know, I can't read my Bible without my glasses, but last month I couldn't read it with my glasses. You know, so it's getting there. So I'm trusting God. I'm trusting God. Amen. And uh, in whatever happens, and I'm telling you that because I want, along with Barbara and and Anthony's uh, testimonies, that God is good. Amen. Oh, don't be afraid. And this actually, it's funny because today's sermon is going to help us in all this. And it, it wasn't pre-planned. So anyway, I don't want to take too much time on, on all that. So, um, what, what's next? Yeah. Communion. There you go. It's just my memory you've got to pay for. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm going to ask uh, Anthony a real if he comes and help us today. And we're reading from 1 Corinthians chapter um, 11, verse 23. It's a familiar, if you've done communion, you know these scriptures. Amen. It's 1 Corinthians chapter 11, and it's from verse 23 to 26. I'll give you a moment. Just listen along with you. Verse 23 says, For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed, he took the bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take heed, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, this cup is a new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink, as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you will proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. So that's what we're doing today. It's a remembrance service, and we're looking back to what Christ done on the cross. Amen. We're looking forward to coming back again. Amen. And you know, and um, and obviously, we're proclaiming the crucifixion, his death, burial, and resurrection yeah. through these uh, emblems. And as we take them, you know, let's just begin to thank God. And this morning, I wonder if Mick, you could just play some light music. Very, and uh, as the emblems are being delivered, if you want to pray out and give a prayer of thanksgiving, make it uh, a brief one, then.